Coming up beside you. You can get that. You can stand and get that. Pardon me? Yes. I'll, f I'll finish this. I'll point it right at you. Oh, I need a, another nail through here. So don't drop too quickly. Yeah. All right. Good. Got it. Super got it. Perfect. Let's chunk it out. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. What's that mean? Chunk it out. Chunk it out now. Chunk, chunk, old brother. Chunk it out now. Wait for me. Wait for me. Yep. Three feet. Right there. All right. That's all we got. It's a big deal. I can make it a big deal, he says. What? <laughs> well, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clear. Nailed it. All clear. You're clear. We're all clear. Can you pick that corner up? Bad day to be applied with. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then a five. I'll set my guns over there. Guns over. I can go up and grab it. Yeah. Okay. Can you shove it out? Oh, you are hitting the wire. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah. I, I got to move over there and nail oh, that okay. first. I got it. I got it. Right, you got it, Chad? Five help. Let me do something. Back up.
four to three here. I think we've got two two more brought up, but we'll get those. Okay. Can you just one three to one chat? What's that? Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, we have it pretty well dried in the garage part, so now we're going to work on the gift shop. Maybe I can give you some update on what's going to be in that gift shop at some point. I'm not sure I totally know. I know some things, but... So we have to remove that siding. That window's coming out, and we'll be putting a door in there. No window on this back wall. It's gonna be shelves for, for gifts. And there'll be a kind of a picture window on the front and a door, so let's get at it. We are getting ready to tie into that. We're going to cut that corner board, tip the wall up, and bring it right up to that. It should, should blend in really well. The rain's holding off. Actually, I think the sun is supposed to come out this afternoon. I'm going to use a little Dremel tool grinder. Then we get that wall up. Well, I think that's going in first, maybe. It's going to be wicked tight. We may have to pull that, I don't know. Let's stand it upright and see uh, what we're into. Whoa, it's wet over here. Ah. Okay. Nail it. I, I get the wall if you want to move that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you ready? Yep. Slide to you a little. Yep. <laughs> Almost can it go to you at all? Need about a quarter inch, probably. I think you'll find that foam insulation pretty floppy. Super floppy. Oh! Too far. Too far. Too far, Shakur. Gun right there. Gun right there. I think we'll shoot into the floor first. You you want it? You handle that? That looks good. Um, let me check this one. Because our rafters are built based on. Perfect. Good. 
Okay. Yeah, I think we're good to nail that. Right there? Anytime. Wow. I'm the only one I'm the one with a gun and I don't have nails in my pocket. Hold on, wait a minute. Ready? And we're doing a ridge pole after some figuring, calculating, and so on. As you know, we don't usually use ridge poles, but in this application, it's really the best. Best thing. Oh, look at that. I'm going to put a level on that. Or I could use my I could use my phone, but Da -da. Oh, perfect, perfect plum. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Oh. All done. <laughs> I can reach these two if you want to do these next. Let's let's set this one, make sure we're Yep, those are good, Chad. Do 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 Yeah, they're uh, they're about identical, so we'll go with that. Perfect. Perfect. I could have broke that in half. <laughs> hey, so uh, we're just doing, Chad and Dan are finishing plywooding the front. We have that all framed up. They did the back. They did a really nice job out back. So I'm going out there, start putting a drip edge on and shingle the backside, get it dried in. That slippery, Dan? Slippery, Dan? That slippery Dan? No. That's not what his brunts on. These brunts, they can't slip. Those brunts don't slip? Chad's got brunts.
It is a beautiful day today. Especially here in the shade. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Perfect fit. You know, really one one thing. Hey, I don't have my hat on. You can see my bald head. Uh, this town. Uh, apparently, I'm really big in YouTube. I appreciate. I've had. We've had uh, 30 or 40 people stop by that watch our YouTube channel. That's just a real blessing. So I, I appreciate that. Okay. I'm going to get my hat on so I don't get a sunburn and head out back. And I'm out here getting ready to get this. We're going to prep this for roofing. There's some things that really have to be taken care of, watch out for, especially when you come up against a uh, another building structure is to flash that properly. We also have a window there, so we have to divert that out a ways, make sure rain does not come down inside the window. That would be obviously bad. So we'll be working away at that. One drawback right here is the sun is right here. It's a little hard to get a good angle for, for videoing. I'll do as much as I can, but we'll see how that goes. Whenever we do anything, you have, you're always uh, step flashing, stepping things over so that the rain is, as it comes down, it's shed away. So that's something we'll have to work, work out. Um, let's see. It's going to be a short piece of flashing of a fascia. I'm going to start in the corner here and we'll put a bend in that so that we can keep that dry. The sun went in behind some clouds so it's not as blaring, glaring. I need to put a bend on this end of the fascia so it wraps in there as well as leave a little tab down below so that it creates a nice square corner underneath. Just use my speed square to come right up there and bend that. You can see a little bend there, so that will go up in that corner. corner to get a good nailing pattern we I always nail to the right of a, of a rafter tail if you try to nail on the rafter tail more often than not you'll hit a another nail and then you ruin ruin the, the uh, fascia don't want to do that Perfect. Before I can progress any further with this, in order to tie the fascia in, we have to finish the rake on this gable end. So this is a like a little over six foot long section we need to finish this gable end rake on this side so that I can go around to the other side. Chad and Dan will finish the rest of these. I'll just do this one so that I can go to roofing. I love roofing by the way. I really do. The power company came and put an electric protector on, on the electric lines. Dan's putting the last piece of plywood on the other side, I think. So, the sun's, oh, the sun's coming out in a minute. Maybe I can get up there and get that before it peeks out. So I put a bend on that end of the fascia. Gonna let that run out by. Get everything ready here. 
<laughs> wow, that is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It was. <laughs> I finished that side. I've got the ice and water shield lapped up onto the house and it comes out about a foot. So that makes a, a good seal there. We'll also step flash all the shingles. Then we have the drip edge coming out over. Then we have the roof wrap coming over that. And then over in the valley. Well, let's, I guess we'll go up a little higher to, can't really see that. So we have the valley flat, uh, ice and water shield, 18 inches on each side of the valley. Then we ran ice uh, roof wrap over that, and we'll do that all the way up. We'll create a ice and water shield peak up at the top, so that that's completely uh, weatherproof. Then we'll pull all of this roof wrap back down and staple it off, and we're ready for shingles. Well, let's just talk about this roofing. It looks like a total disaster up there. It's just kind of nothing's put together, sort of, on the, as far as the siding, so it looks pretty bad. I want, I'll go up and show you. It's been sprinkling, so I haven't had the camera out much. I wanted to show how I step flashed, how we did ice and water shield. We did ice and water in the valley. And then we brought the roof wrap. Both sides coming in the valley. I'll show. I'll go up and show that to you. Get a close up. Typically, I like to roof up enough so I can get roofing brackets on and get a staging a plank staging plank on before uh, before I really get up there. We'll set the ladder hoist out here to run shingles up, make that job easier. So let's go up there and take a look at that. There's a lot of work that went into this little corner. Where to start? Okay, so this siding was all off. There was no cha J channel here. Had to add that, all that in. We got this plumb a level across, I mean, so that we can run soffit into that. And that will uh, then we'll run uh, F channel up here and J under that to finish the siding. So I brought the this J up so we could bring the soffit. I'm deciding into that. Up here, so we have a window down here. We ha I, in behind, I started with one piece of flashing that's a full eight inches high, eight inches this way, runs four inches up. I think actually, you can see that. We still need to add J channel to this to tuck the siding into. The J channel will run all the way up the roof. So there's two flashings here. One goes tight to the siding. The other one angles out and I cut this, there's a shingle underneath, a starter shingle and then this one on top. I never nail into the roof into the step flashing. That's not a good idea if you ever need to replace it or need to work on it. So that's that part. So there's, we're, we're constantly step, stepping water out as we work. So you have a shingle underneath, then you have this first step flashing under here that you can't see. I'm sorry, the other way around. The first step flashing underneath, then the starter shingle under there goes to there. This one goes over the top of the starter shingle, and then this shingle goes over the top of the second flashing. And then we, from that point on, every one we overlap each one to keep sh di diverting water out so that when it rains, the water is going to hit this point and come out past the window. So now you can see I have one roofing bracket on there starting to rain. 
another one there. Then we have to go over, let's go over and look at the valley. We have ice and water in the valley. It goes all the way up to the peak. Then we bring the roof wrap, we bring this roof wrap in and we go all the way up above the valley, at least a foot on the upper side. Kind of hard to hold the camera and this. And then, then this course, let me back a little bit. This course goes across and up that way. So that we're, it's just constantly stepping over and over and over to divert the rain. So, sorry, I won't be showing much. It's raining today. I'm just gonna try to get some of the roofing on. Finally, it takes a lot of preparation to get to this point. Staging plank up there, on a, especially on a steeper roof. If it was a ranch roof, we wouldn't even be doing the staging. we just get right onto it. Got some shingles on here and my favorite ladder hoist. Running four bundles up there. We'll stage them up there and then I can just pull right off of them. Be good. All right. I don't think there's any place where I can get to show you. It's pretty slow going with all the step flashing anyway. So uh, I'll tune in later with some progress.